What's the crack lads and welcome back to the channel doing something a little bit different today It is a tier list. So hopefully you guys enjoy it We will be doing standard in the first episode with a special guest Alex make sure and check him out in the description And also we will be doing a load of these as part of this new series We're gonna have epic cards legend cards everything that you can you can think of really player of the weeks So get in touch with who you want to see next and you can also do the tier yourself I will share the link in the description below and you can share it on discord and on Twitter wherever you want to share it so hope you enjoyed the video. What's up lads, welcome. We're finally doing the tier list. You will have seen the introduction already. I am here with Alex. Obviously you guys will know Alex from all his content on YouTube. We've done a couple of videos. Make sure and check out his video where we talked. It's a pretty lengthy uh, chat about players and training guides. Alex, what's up man? We're gonna be doing some tier list in here. People have been asking me to do this for ages. Are you excited to do this tier list with me today? I'm pumped, man, and uh, I'm really happy uh, that uh, we can finally collab for a video. And uh, your channel has been uh, like regular, like visit for me for all the guides, all the useful information. And yeah, it's gonna be a very interesting video as well today. So the rules are as follows: we're going to be going from bottom to top, and we're going to be listing them into four different tiers. So we have goat, which is the highest. We've amazing, we've good, and we've average. Okay. So Alex, I'm gonna let you start off, man, with uh, Dybala. Um, I'm going to okay. let you pick the first. You are the guest. Um, and I'm delighted that uh, you're here on the channel to collab with you as well. Um, yeah. Dybala, man. Where are you going to put Dybala? And we're going to drag him up. Pressure's on. I'm going to put him in Amazing. You that put him in Amazing? Is oh, man. On paper. No, no, no. Well, I, might, I, I didn't use his base card, but I have his Player of the Week card. Okay. And it is so, so nimble touches. Uh, he has the double touch. He has the finishing. Uh, I think he has the Vantage Passing as well. I'm not sure about this card, like does it have the additional skills? But he was phenomenal for me. Yeah. And the only downside is the place. So we can maybe downgrade him to good, but he's definitely not average. Okay. He's better okay. than his stats suggest. And uh, yeah, let's get let's get it, let's set it at good and then maybe we'll change. Okay, we'll see later. we'll yeah. see at the end when we do our final review. Our... Alright, next up I have a very easy one with Verati. I'm gonna put Verati into Amazing. Um, this card is really, really good, defensively solid, attack-wise, dribble, pass, everything. I think we have to start him with Amazing for now. I don't know is, if you is disagree. That, is he box-to-box -box orchestrator? Yes, he's, he's, ar orchestrator he's orchestrator, probably, right? yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, maybe I haven't used him all season. I can't really tell anything about that. Yeah. It's just like maybe on paper, he's like one of those type of players like you talk, was talking about, like Henderson or like... No, he's more kind of like Barella, actually. That who, Side yeah, party. he's kind of like that. Oh, yeah. He kind of zips around the pitch, kind of like Kante. Okay. Um, not as okay. good as Kante, but uh, no, Immobile is gonna be average. Thank God. I thought you were gonna put him good. I would have to disagree. No, no, no. <laughs> I just don't understand this type of strikers at all. Muller is between average and good. And what are your? Uh, what's your I'm gonna say I'd put him as good because of his okay. AI. He has got really high offensive awareness. He's a dummy runner. Yeah, I don't think we need to talk too much about Muller because look, you're not really going to be buying Muller. I wouldn't recommend to buy him, but this is a list yeah. of the top rated 50 players based on overall rating. So there are some missing, obviously, we, but... Might might be downgrading him. Yeah, yeah, I think good is probably just enough, but listen, we might downgrade him towards the end. We'll see. I'll take Sommer in goals because I know that you're a big fan of Modric, um, who we'll give you in a sec, but I would put Sommer as amazing. I think for, his bu for the budget, the GP cost, um, I mean, his size. I would everything. be going as far as goat. Would you I would agree? Be going as far Are you as want to put him as a goat? I would say, I mean, we can. It depends on how many players you're allowed to put there. But he's amazing. Like his featured cards, like it's a nightmare for my strikers. Like he's saving everything. He's like he's on par with Donnarumma. So if you're putting Donnarumma in goat, I think Sommer is in conversation. <laughs> That's high but, praise. Yeah, man. let's put let's, that's high praise. Donnarumma. Let's, let's 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 have him an amazing just for now. <laughs> and. Yeah. So next is Modric, right? Yeah, and, Modric. Uh, it's my privilege to do, put him in GOAT just because he is fantastic in real life. He is uh, a very, very, like, very, very balanced card. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure, like, about this base card, if it is performing just as good as my featured card, the National Player of the Week uh, card uh, that I pulled, like, almost a year ago. But that one is my favorite. He's a sure starter for all of my teams, but I'm 
playing him there and uh, this base card is probably just a little bit worse but this card can defend can pass the ball can take long shots he has the rising shots i believe or like some kind of yeah he does skill. he does he's really good he has the double touch like what else do you need from a midfielder like he has everything there like yeah. he can maybe not the best like a tackling but he can tackle he can help your box to box midfielders yeah no so, he, fantastic he, he, card we will leave him at gold for now i do agree i think he's yeah. he's a player i use very very much so at the start the player of the week version i think you're talking about or you've talked about in a few of your videos he's the same one i used and he was i mean all his stats are pretty much 90 or above his dribbling his passing yep. everything so i do agree with that i mean vinicius jr i'm probably i was tempted to put him in amazing but i think i'd probably have to put him in good um Okay, fine with it. I, I've used a lot of him, and I do think that there are better wingers to come on this, and I do think that he's probably not as effective as he should be. So, yeah. When curlers when curlers were overpowered, you could curl with his like right foot, cut yeah. inside curl, and score a lot of goals at the start of like football 2023. Now curlers are being saved by Courtois, like all the curls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The curlers maybe you're curling nerfed. like from... Two yards dif uh, distance from a goalkeeper. And maybe you can curl the ball then. But now it's impossible to do. And otherwise, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, maybe good or amazing. A good uh, is fine. Yeah. Me, I guess. All right. We're going to give you Delict. Uh, I know you're a big fan of Delict. Uh, we talked about yeah, it in your video I like as Delict. well. So. I, th I think Delict can be going in amazing. Okay, I agree. Uh, it can be a conversation of goats, but I don't know. It's just like... 50, 50. Yeah, I, I mean, I we can I review it at the end, but I definitely think he's he's, oh, yeah, he's yeah. not lower than amazing. I've been a late convert to Delict, and I slept on him for months, and he's been insane in my road to glory. Like, he's practically kept me, like, clean sheets himself. <laughs> so I do agree yeah. uh, with that, and he's got all the player skills and everything as well, no matter what card you have. Um, De Jong, I would probably put De Jong... Man, this is a tough one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick him in average. I'm gonna stick him in mm. average, man, because I feel like he just doesn't have any. I know he's got good stats, but he never stands out against me, and I just think his time as a really viable option in midfield now there's just a lot better cards than him there. I don't know. What do you think? I rarely see anyone using him in online games, to be honest. Yeah. With you. And I don't use him either. Because like I mainly was building like a Real Madrid team. And then when Konami switched the events to like La Liga once, and I just sprinkled in a few Barcelona teams that I got from uh free tries. And De Young was never in the conversation there yeah. for me as well. So maybe average. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, I, what, I agree with that. What about Silva? Bernardo Silva? I mean, I didn't play his base card, but his nominating contract, the one that mid-season, like, fine, like, end season MVPs, right? Mm -hmm. It is a phenomenal card, and I don't know about the base card, so I would be probably placing him in amazing. Okay. What about you? Okay. Yeah, I would okay, probably yeah. put him, I would probably put him in good, strictly because, yeah, based on his standard card, I know what you're saying. Um, oh, yeah. I know what you're saying with the, with the good, uh, I do agree, or with the amazing ranking of him but i do think that his standard card is probably in line with the rest of the lads that are on good there compared to Verratti, delict and summer but that's the only reason we can well, review it at the end yeah you, you probably did more research than me on base card stuff yeah so at the start it, right? of it i, I probably not be would have, yeah i probably would, would <laughs> kind of know the cards very in depth before they started bringing out the crazy versions um yeah i mean we can kind of double dip here right just to kind of speed it up a bit we can double dip with oh, the yeah, three sure. goalkeepers go. here of Ederson or triple dip. We've got Ederson, Allison, and Terstegen. I would probably put oh, man. I look, Liverpool is going to be average. Allison's going in the average pool. Now that's going to frustrate a lot of people, right? Because I am a Manchester United fan. But we'll get to that in a second. I would also probably put Terstegen in good, and I would probably put Ederson in average as well. So Allison and Ederson are only going to get average, man. I don't see many people using them. I know the Brazilian version of Allison was an absolute beast, but his standard card for me, I don't think he's, I don't think he's that good, man. Ter Stegen has been good for me. The standard card has been really good for me. Oh yeah, um, I agree with that. I okay, with okay, that. that's good because I mean you're not going to really fight too hard for the Liverpool players anyway, are you? No, no, no uh, <laughs> don't really. Couldn't yeah, all the care Liverpool less fans really. have been yeah. going crazy. <laughs> um, we're going to leave Cristiano Ronaldo out, but how would you feel about? Um, Mane, where are Mane. you going to put Mane? 
I haven't really tried him, but I feel like he's good. Yeah, and that's he's, pretty much it. He's he's pff, he's just good. I've used his standard card a bit. He's just good. Kind of a card that's a bit slept on, to be honest. Um, yeah, Alaba. Alaba is average, I would say, just because he's lacking those defensive, important defensive skills. Unless you're playing him as a left back, then he's good. Yeah, I would actually, I would actually put Alaba in amazing. This version of cards. Oh, really? It's our first big disagreement. Um, okay, okay, but fine. I would put him as amazing just because of his versatility and the fact that he can play DMF, left mid, center back. Oh, yeah, for that. He for is, that yeah. I wouldn't be playing him as a center back. No, but he can, he can play as a back a back three as kind of like that Koundé role. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, maybe there. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah agree, agree with he's that. really, really good. Um You'd need to give him and Markin though. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, I think it depends how you play him and your skill level. You need to manually defend a lot with him. But he has he has been part of my teams where I did like you know a road to not road to glory but a road to Division One, which just uses standard cards, and he was just insane for me. So yeah, I definitely oh. probably put him there. Um, as, Harry as Kane as into average. Play or, I'd probably put Harry either. Kane into average. Oh, wait, I'm, we're missing Rodri. Oh, Rodri. Sorry, sorry, I skipped ahead. Right, where are you putting Rodri? Uh, Rodri is amazing at least. All right, so yeah. Marquinhos, you picked one goat with Modric. I'm going to put Marquinhos into the goat category as well. I think Fair he's enough. insane. Fair enough. Um, and then we have Van Dijk. So where does Van Dijk kind of sit for you? I would say good or amazing. It's like maybe amazing for starters for someone who is like building their team from scratch yeah and that would be their starter defender yeah i think and we probably have to put him delivering. in amazing even though he is a liverpool player i think we have to put him in there yeah because he Just is like, expensive but enough. he does do the job for you yeah yeah exactly. um goretzka oh, man i'm tempted to put goretzka into the goat category i'm not gonna lie i i would I would agree with you on that. It's just like, is there any better base box to box midfielder in the game? Like, I don't know. Aunt I don't. Aunt. I don't think so. Personally speaking, I know Shuamene is there, and then you have the epics and stuff with Matthaus and that. But Barella is probably another one. Um, oh, yeah, man. I think oh, yeah, but is not on the list, though. Yeah, Shuamene is not. Is, is he? Not what is Shuamene down as? Defensive midfielder, I think. Yeah, DMF. He's box to box. Yeah, yeah, box to box DMF. Yeah, well, look, we'll leave him. We can always do the final review at the end. Thiago Silva, Cruz, Saka, uh, Oshiman, and Valverde. So I'll let you call the five of those. Okay, that's four, I guess. Yeah. So, Oshiman, I guess. Oshiman as well, five. yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, let's... Thiago Silva, quite slow, a little bit worse than Van Dijk, in my opinion, so that would be good. Okay. Uh, Cruz... A player that is, I don't know how to use them. Maybe someone has figured out. He can't really defend. He's slow on the ball. He can pass the ball. But I can pass the ball with my Casemiro, for instance, yeah. and he can defend. He's kind so of a wasted player. I would put player. Cross in average. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's I agree. probably even... I would be probably even putting Cross in D, you know what? It's just like because Kanami has them dirty. Yeah. Just like because we don't have a single pair there. So yeah. Just, Cross will be D. Saka, in my opinion, is also one of those players that is lost in this type of point distribution progress you can't really see a like a stat that is standing out for him he can't really cross the ball even though you pl can play him in left back mm. where he used to play when he was starting for arsenal yeah i would say he's good yeah i agree maybe average valverde as a central midfielder were reliable i played a like I was saying that i was building my la liga team and he was decent it's not like anything extra he can defend he can distribute the balls maybe good i guess maybe average yeah. And Osiman, for me, me, he's average. I don't know. One more time, like this is the type of striker, like uh, Immobile and <laughs> yeah, Kane just kind of a waste type of striker. Waste standard card, isn't it? He doesn't. Really I don't do understand anything. standard cards. His big time Showtime is is a pretty decent card. Uh, Savage, I'm going to put him as average. We're going to put. I'm going. I'm skipping okay. a few now here. We're going to put Skriniar in good. We're going to put Diaz. I would say Diaz is amazing based on his defensive capabilities. Starting off, like his stats are insane. Yeah, I would put Latauro. Yes, is my starter. Yeah, yeah. I would put Latauro as well as good. Average. Good, okay. I would say. Okay. And I would put Dan as a goat. I mean, Dan is always going to be yeah. in the goat, like in the goal category, um, as our fourth goat. Agreed. I think Latauro, depending Agreed. on how you train him, could be average or like just bef just like you know high on the average tier, um, or low. But he's probably going to be like the lowest on the good tier, if that makes sense. Um, Rudiger. Yeah, he's just okay. I guess um, Rudiger. I would say uh, either 
either amazing or good. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I, it's but, hard. It's hard. I, I mean, looking at him with Marquinhos, I would say that this standard card of Rudiger is just amazing, I would say. His, the card that we covered in your video, the training guide we did in your channel, the free yeah. nominating one, that's definitely a goat, I would say. Um, Odegaard, I would probably put Odegaard as average. I agree 100%. I've been using his featured card and I can't understand how, yeah. how, what exactly. He's kind of stiff on the ball yeah. despite his stats suggest otherwise, but I don't know. It just like doesn't work for me. Yeah, he doesn't do it for me at all. Kante, I would probably put Kante at amazing. The only thing that stops Kante from being goat is not stats, it's his player form and the fact that, you know, he doesn't never had live updates because he was always injured. Um, exactly. Bruno... Yes. I mean, as a United fan, I'm tempted to say this standard card is good, but I probably have to put him in average. Yeah, I agree. It's just like Modric is like levels above him, and they're playing pretty much the same yeah. role on the pitch. So I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to put him in. I mean, it's getting interesting now because we're actually into some top the top top players here. Um, yeah, we also have Kingsley Coleman here. I would probably say he's good as well. Um, I don't know. Would you have him higher or lower than good? But no, wouldn't argue. But he is playing great when he's playing against me all the time. Yeah, so I didn't play him this season, so I don't know. Yeah, no, his standard <laughs> he's, card he's I think is fair. Destroyed. It's kind of in line. Oh with yeah, Saka standard card, and yeah. Mane and you know Bernardo yeah, Silva yeah, sure, and sure. those guys, Vinicius. I think that's a good tier there. Um, right, we're on to Ablak. Are we going to put Ablak into the goal category? I probably wouldn't, based on his price. Like, I just think he's way too overpowered. Or way, he was way too expensive for what you're getting with him compared to Donna. Um, but I know that they have reduced the price on him now. I'm talking about when the game first launched. He was like 700000 or something. Um, oh, yeah. I would I, probably I think put it's because him amazing. In pass, in pass Oblak was the best goalkeeper yeah. there ever. I still think he's amazing. Still like, he has the best stats uh, of any of the standard yep. goalkeepers. So I'd probably put him amazing. Um all right, we're going to give you three quickfire ones. Casemiro, Neymar, and Son. So Casemiro going into GOAT category, the best uh, anchorman in the game for me. Okay, I um, agree. Neymar, Neymar would go in the GOAT category, I guess, but I'm not sure about this card because I never used his base card. No, his base be amazing, card is though, still pretty think? beastly, man. Yeah, I would definitely okay, say so, GOAT. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, cool. That's, that's good. And uh, the final one is Son. Son can be either amazing or good because, like, he can cover different spots in the pitch. He can play right midfield or right uh, midfield, yeah, I, left midfield. Yeah, I don't forward. really have any complaints with that. I think the Asia Pack Son is good, oh, yeah, 100%. Is like, he's top tier. Um, but yeah, I'm happy enough with that selection. Haaland, for me, right at the start of the game, I thought Haaland was really good. Um, like, he was probably amazing. But now, even based on the other standard cards, I probably would put him in the good category. But it depends how you okay. play him. Like for me, he'd probably be amazing. But I think for the average user, oh man, it's tough because I'm probably going to put Kimmich into the amazing. amazing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree Very with nice. that. Salah, oh man, this is a tough one. This is a tough one because I don't want to just pile it on to Liverpool fans. But yeah, it's just like a lot of people are complaining that Salah is not working for them. Like he's kind of stiff for the yeah. type of skills that he has, the dribbling that he has. But they are there barely any left wing forward, uh, right wing forwards with uh, left, left foot, foot that can actually finish. Yeah. So he does have really high finishing, that, like even his standard card. Yeah, you would be going for left footer who can finish cutting from the right side. That is only Mosal in this game. I yeah. Think. Look, we'll stick the, him the into good. We'll one. stick him into good. Yeah. Yeah. We'll stick yeah, him in good cool. there. Neuer, I would as probably. As long as Casemiro is higher. Yeah. I would probably put Neuer, <laughs> controversial, but I would probably put Neuer into average. Because I just think he's a liability at the back. Like, he just comes out his player ID. I don't know how you feel. Would we stick him in good? I never used him. I, I'm fine with that, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Mbappe, I think based on everything else in the game, right, this is going to be a controversial choice now for me. I don't know how you'll feel. Okay. I'm not going to put him in the GOAT category because he's a million GP. I do think that he is amazing. Oh, yeah. But I definitely think that you can get better players... Like, Son Agreed. is a better player than him if you're looking to keep on budget, if you don't have a lot of GP. Oh, yeah. Um, Courtois, I know you're a big fan of Courtois, so if we're putting Donnarumma as a goat, do we put Courtois up there as well? 
Oh yeah, surely. Yeah. I mean, I think they're similar. Even uh, base cards for sure, Courtois should be there. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. No questions. About um, it. what about De Bruyne? We're coming to the last few now. Uh, just like. I just like I like my attacking midfielders to be with the skill moves. You know what I'm talking about, and Kevin is liking those. So yeah. maybe amazing. He's great at distribution, like one of the best passers in real life for sure, and in game also he's given justice for the, the passing ability. But uh, uh, good, amazing is good. Yeah, I think amazing. Yeah, and then I would say that with Lewandowski, man, like Lewandowski is is kind of like he just this standard car Lewandowski. I can't go higher than good. I just can't like because. He is good in the air, but I would put him in the same category as Haaland. And I'd also put Benz in that category as well. Like that, if I'm picking a center forward, I'm probably yeah. going to go for, I'm probably going to go for one of those, like Lewandowski, Haaland, or Benzema, or, you know, somebody. And Benzema, Benzema has a tricky play style as well, so yeah. you need to like kind of beat him. In. Yeah. And then last but not least, we do have uh, Messi. Right, obviously Messi is going to be taken out of PSG with the transfer update, but we do have Messi here. Are we going to put Messi into the goal category? Or are we putting him in uh, amazing? For sure, it's amazing. Goat can be a stretch. I, I haven't used his base card, but I don't know for some reason any Messi cards that I'm playing against, they're chasing my defenders and tackling them like if they're prime Maldini. I don't know, his game is broken <laughs> for some reason. It's just like, and that is very annoying because like he is great at this back tr tracking back and I know why it works in this game. And for that alone, I think that he can pass the ball. He has great finishing. There's a barely a card that has com all these skills combining. I think it's either goat or amazing. I mean, it's your choice. Yeah, no, I will stick him in goat simply because I think playing him, he's a similar kind of what you said about Salah. He like play him on the right flank and cutting him with the left shots. Oh yeah, and then he's able yeah. to dictate a lot of play as well. And I think for the price that he's at at the moment in the GP marketplace, I think he's definitely you know worth it. Now, if Ronaldo, if Ronaldo wasn't you know was still in the game, I definitely have him as a goat as well when he's player form yeah, is exactly. there. Um, but just to kind of round that off, but I'm happy enough with that man. The only the only one I might oh, man, it's tough. I'm actually happy enough with that like squad or that selection there for instance yeah we could Just do that, so that yeah well i would probably put tiago silva up from good to amazing um okay i don't know would you replace him with somebody i mean if it's if it was a case of replacing someone i could yeah i could downgrade alaba down to good and put tiago silva okay. up to amazing i definitely think that's kind of where i'd where i'd go with it fair enough um fair enough but yeah, man, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it was it was a fun one. It's just about 30 minutes of a video. So it's a longer type video than we usually had. And like, there is going to be disagreements in it. This is standard cards. If you guys would like to see more where we bring in the epic cards, the legends or anything like that, I will do a couple of more tiers um, on it. And also as well, this video will be going out uh, simultaneously to Alex's where we talk about the training guide. That's another lengthy video as well, Alex. Um, but there's pretty much everything covered from goalkeeper to center forward and everything in between of the training guides, talking points, uh, our knowledge on, you know, what we would train, what we wouldn't train. So make sure, and you guys check out that if you're a regular watching my stuff, uh, check out that video on Alex's where we're collaborating on that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. That's our tier list there. You can download this or screenshot this. I will share the link to do out your own tiers as well on the discord and in the YouTube comments. Uh, in the description box so yeah Alex thanks for joining me man it's been a pleasure as as always and uh, hopefully we can um, do some more collaborations in the future and the pleasure was all mine I hope uh, people are not uh, uh, frustrated about the selections you've made and, uh, yeah I mean, <laughs> yeah you're gonna anyway, get a lot of hate, uh, hate mail off it's uh, just a game Salah fans it's just a game. Liverpool fans now you know yeah <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right lads that's it for me don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out alex's content as well over on his youtube and uh yeah let us know what you think of the videos we'll talk to you soon